What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports of the Bone here again man. Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers and the followers. Big up on yourself. Well, we are now entering the home stretch of the first test match between West Indies and Bangladesh. And the Tigers are still in the lead, but the regional team is still in with a shout. So let's just get straight to the recap. Now resuming day 4 on 47 for 3, the Tigers were actually looking to pile on the runs you know, to see if they could get a good score on the board for the Windies to chase. Uh, the Tigers were able to push on to 73 before losing another wicket. Uh, Mushika Rahim was the first to go when Rakim Karnwal had him trapped in front a leg before wicket. Now, the Windies actually starved for wicket as the Tigers were able to push on to 206 before losing another wicket. Now, throughout all of this, Mamonol Hak was actually working and bringing up his century as he was stroking the ball real nicely around the ground ticking over the score getting a couple of fours here and there and you know trying to push back on the West Indies as we were actually trying to apply some pressure to them now Diaz was actually next to go as he was removed for a crafty 69 by our spinner Warrican. 206 for 5 quickly became 214 for 6 as Hawk was actually removed by Shannon Gabriel for a well played 115. Islam was next to go as he was bowled by Warrican for 3 runs as the Windies continued their fight back. Now at 223 for 8, um, Bangladesh actually declared, you know, seeing that they, would, they, they know that they would need enough time to actually try and bowl out the Windies as they actually press for victory in the first test match here. No, this actually meant that the Windies would need a total of 395 runs to win the game. But in a second time, Windies found themselves in deep trouble between a rock and a hard place basically as Craig Brathwaite, John Campbell and Mosley were all removed cheaply to leave the Windies wheeling at 100 and 10 for 3. So it went something like this. Campbell was first to go as he was removed for 23. Brathwaite followed shortly to leave us um, wheeling at 48 for 2. Now when Mosley was struck plumb in front for 12, the Tigers were actually pumped, you know, and they were putting down their foot on the gas to see if they could probably get a couple more wickets. So um, after the removal of those three players, we were wheeling at 110 as I said earlier for 3. No resistance came in the form of Myers and Banner, who are currently not out on 37 and 15 respectively. So Banner and Myers will resume um, day 5 and will be looking to try and push themselves as close as possible to that total there that we are going in search of. So that's basically it so far viewers and subscribers as regards to our bowling um, Warrican and Carnwall, they both took three wickets each while Shannon Gabriel chipped in with two wickets. So far Hassan, he has taken all three second innings wickets for the Tigers and no doubt you know he will be looking for a fifer. So the Windies batsmen will have to make sure that they are careful when they go out um, when they resume on day five so as to prevent him from getting a fifer. But who to tell that <laughs> it's probably written in the stars already. Yeah man, so we will resume at 110 for 3, needing another 285 runs to win the test match. Yeah, so what do you think guys? Will um, the batsmen be able to bat out the day and try and get the runs or will they be able to save the test match dry or will Bangladesh bowl us out? Let me know what you think in the comments uh, section. Sports of the Bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.